G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There's nothing like a good casserole. This one you can prepare all at once and it tastes fantastic. So join me today as I make my version of a baked potatoes and chicken casserole. Now we're going to start with our potatoes. Now you can use any type of potatoes you like. What I've done is I've got four potatoes here and I've just skinned them and cut them into small cubes. So we're just going to put half of the amount in the bottom of a baking dish. Next I have about half a kilo of chicken breast and I've also cut this into cubes so we're going to place all of the chicken breast on top of our first layer of potatoes. Next we're going to give it a quick season with some salt and some pepper. Next I have some diced bacon, it's up to you how much you want to use. I'm using about 200 grams worth and I'm just going to sprinkle some of it on top of the chicken. Next with our cream, now I'll leave a list of ingredients in the description below, but we're going to place half of our cream on top of the bacon. Next we're going to sprinkle on a layer of cheese, now I'm using a four cheese Mexican blend, but it's up to you which type that you want to use. Next I'm going to sprinkle on some chives or green onions. Okay, so we're going to simply repeat the layers now, so we're going to put the rest of our potatoes on top, then the rest of our diced bacon, then we're going to cover that in some lovely cheese. Then some more chives. Now on top of that, a quick season of some salt. And some pepper. Now the remainder of our cream. Then finally, some dabs of unsalted butter. Okay, so next we're going to cover up our baking dish with some foil. Okay, so next we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. Then after that hour, we're going to take the foil off, then leave it in the oven for another half an hour. So I've just taken it out of the oven, and I'll tell you what, this smells delicious. Now this is definitely a very easy casserole to make, and you can choose to have it by itself, or you can add some vegetables, or salad, or any side that you like. But, let's give some a try. Alright. Oh, that chicken is cooked just right. And that potato is nice and soft and lovely. Plus with that cheesy flavor, this chicken and potato casserole tastes simply delish. So as a quick and easy dinner to make, this one definitely ticks all the boxes because it took nearly no time whatsoever to prepare. And then you just stick it in the oven and let it do its thing. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And until then, please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.